for some reason, Mike Pence has decided to enter the chat too. And I'm trying to figure out why. Former President Mike Pence has, and and he was also the former governor of Indiana, has no path whatsoever. He doesn't have a base. The most he has are donors, super PAC, I don't know. Evangelicals slash MAGAs do not like him because he refused to overthrow a duly elected then Joe Biden presidency. Then the Democrats have never liked Mike Pence because he's a Christian right politician. He's radically pro-life in their eyes. He doesn't see any type of exceptions for abortion, not even cases of rape and incest and the life and death of a mother. He passed the, um, what was it called? The Parenthood, is it called the Parenthood Bill? It's something like the Parenthood Bill or something along those lines, where basically the fetus, the unborn child has more rights than the actual woman, human being having to carry the fetus to full term. Uh, I was called, sorry, it's called the personhood bill. So he supported the personhood bill. It's granted more rights to the unborn than to the actual born, living, breathing, wanting to make whatever decisions they want to make for themselves. So the Democrat, the people on the left don't like that. Uh, He refuses to ever really criticize Donald Trump. He criticized the January 6th event, but nowhere in there said Donald Trump caused those events with his rhetoric. When the House investigated the January 6th insurrection, and then they asked Mike Pence to testify, he said he shouldn't have to testify. And then former Senator of Wyoming, Liz Cheney, criticized him because Mike Pence had said that the the committee was, the hearing was partisan. And to quote, according to CBS, Congress has no right to, to my testimony on separations of powers under the Constitution of the United States. Actually, they do. Congress, as well as the Senate, has the right to investigate people if they feel like laws have been broken you were either involved or have some critical information about the case, they do have a right to ask you. First, they ask nicely. You still don't appear, then you get subpoenaed. That's how this works. Separation of powers means like, oh, because I work in the executive branch, I don't have to answer to the House. That's not how that works. Um, I just, I don't, Where, where's your base, Mike Pence? The right doesn't like you, the left doesn't like you. Your wife likes you. I'm sure your family liked you. You don't have, your time was like 2018, or not 2018, 2008. That was your moment when he was like the governor of Indiana. He was actually popular amongst conservatives. He was never popular among the Democrats because they've always seen him as pop politically too, too far to the right. But he had he had a base. He could have won some independence, and that may have brought him to victory. Who knows? We'll never know. Twenty eighteen is long and gone. But that era was his moment. The time today, not his moment at all. But Pence lives in a bubble, and I don't know who else is in this bubble with him, telling him, "Yes, you should do it." Besides political operatives that just want to make some money this is this is a lose like this is embarrassing i feel embarrassed for him but if he wants to embarrass himself so be it and maybe i'll be proven wrong i don't think i will i don't think he's going anywhere because he's not going to want to criticize donald trump ever and donald trump is going to eat him alive donald trump already criticizes Pence left and right for not having his back on january 6th for not overturning the election 
then eat them alive during this primary season. Dude, it's not too late to back out. It is not too late, but something tells me your eagle is a bit too on the big side and you're just gonna do this anyways. Okay.